Hi, the latest in beauty, stylist advent calendar 2024. Last year's was actually one of the better advent calendars of last year, the multi-brand beauty ones. This year, I mean, normally, you know, when you have a brand coming out with an advent calendar, the first one's almost always quite good, you know, and then subsequent calendars are often a letdown. We'll see if that is actually happening this year. Uh, it is priced at £169. Now, they claim that 27 products are actually full-sized. That is, almost everything is full-sized. We will see if that is actually true. The launch date is the 7th of uh, September, which is right around the corner, which is why I'm quite eager to get this video out of the way. Now, the very first product, Gatineau Golden Glow Gradual Tan, 75 mils. Now, full size is 200 mils. In addition to the fact that this is actually not full size, full size, it is actually a fake tan, people, fake tan product. How many of us enjoy receiving fake tan in advent calendars? Not I, I I'm sure. Um, I mean, I'm already quite tan. So this is not a very inclusive, universally appealing product. And I've never actually liked receiving fake tans in my beauty boxes or advent calendars. Hopefully it will get better from now on. Let's see. The next product is from Three now. It is a 24 hour level up mascara, eight months indeed full size retailing at 18 pounds. Next you have from Spectrum, the Brush Club three piece face brush set. Uh, 19 pounds 99 is the retail price. Now you get pink and lilac, pictured is the blue version. The next product, oh dear, Pixie Glow Tonic, all the way back from 2014, 2013, um, almost 10 years ago, people. All the way back from then, Pixie Glow Tonic, how current, how relevant, how groundbreaking, how recent, how exciting. I mean, it's all right if you haven't bought a single advent calendar in your life and you're very new to beauty, but if you've been around for a while, you know, if you've been buying beauty boxes for a long time, if you've been uh, subscribing to them, if you've been buying beauty for a long time, if you've been interested in skincare, if you've been following Caroline Hirons and so on, if you've been interested in advent calendars for a while, you probably have quite a few pixie glue tonics sitting around. I know I do. I start, I bought my first advent calendar in 2015. Next year, I plan on celebrating the 10th anniversary of my first ever advent calendar buy. But then I have so many pixie glue tonic bottles floating around, yeah? I mean, they could have sent some other acid, some other toner. That's what I'm saying. And when you send something current, you are including everybody, the new people, the people who are new to beauty and the people who have bought advent calendars before. This way you're excluding, you're alienating those of us who've been interested in beauty for a while, who've been buying advent calendars for a while. And by a while, I don't mean, you know, a few decades over there. Pixie Glow Tonic has been in advent calendars as recently as 2019, 2020. So this is not something that we've never seen before. I'm sure that I could find another advent calendar from 2021 or 2022. A couple more advent calendars which contains the Pixie Glow Tonic. So this is not a current or relevant product right now, it's a recent product. If unless you're brand new, very, very new to beauty or to advent calendars. Even so, as I said, it's alienating people who bought advent calendars or boxes before, which isn't very nice. They should have included something more current. Anyway, this isn't full-sized either because as you know, Pixie Glow Tonics, Proper full-sized bottle is 250 mils. No, that is not jumbo size. Jumbo size is 500 mils. Believe me, I know my way around Pixie Glow Tonic. If you're interested, I'll do a separate shot showing you all the sizes, yeah? But then I need time to hunt them up. <laughs> anyway, the next product is from Curel. It is the Anti-Wrinkle Hydrating Serum. 38 mils, indeed, full-size retailing at 25 pounds. The next is a product that I actually quite like the look of. We have, you know, Genevieve's brand, Modern Matte Lipstick in DT. Indeed, full-sized retailing at £23. So very wearable colour. And this is a product that I wouldn't mind, but that I would actually like to own and try. The next product is from Hermetica. It is the Peony Pop EDP 10 mils, 50 mils is full-sized, which retails at £130. So what do you mean by saying everything in this advert calendar is full-sized? 50 mils is the full size of a perfume, not 10 mils people. Oh dear. The next product is the Medicaid Crystal Retinol 1. That is, you know, the starter one. 
for very sensitive skin. That is 30 mils in beautiful size, retailing at 45 pounds. Next, you have two products uh, in one door. The full reset shampoo, re reset repair shampoo, 250 mils, absolutely full size, retailing at 24 pounds. And no, that is not actually Sauron's teeth from Lord of the Rings or something. Nor is it a very peculiar torture device invented by Voldemort or Death Eaters or something. It is actually a scalp massager brush that is retailing at £9.50. Next you have from Kiss and Press, Press on Falsies, False Lashes people are retailing at £19.90. No glue apparently is needed for these. Given that I'm too klutzy and I've ended up uh, sticking half my hair together when I've applied falsies before, this is something that I wouldn't mind trying. You know, no glue press on falsies. Mm, I'm interested, I wouldn't mind researching more about this one. That said, I don't really use false lashes. I mean, I know I have peach fuzz. I know I don't even have eyelashes, eyelashes probably. I have peach fuzz in lieu of eyelashes. And no amount of mascara makes any kind of difference. But you know, most of the time, I cannot be asked with false eyes. I just can't be bothered to wear them. You know, if there's a wedding or something, I wouldn't mind wearing falsies. Other than that, I last wore falsies when? 2021 or so. After that, I haven't actually worn falsies. But then those were the kind that needed glue. This one doesn't need glue, so, you know, this one might be a lot handier. Let's see. The next product is from Legology. It is a sunlight sheer lingerie for the legs. 50 mils, 100 mils is full size. For to see it, it is something that prevents pasty legs. Kind of fakeish tan for the legs, people. So this is another product about which I'm not too excited. The next product is the Lunar Daily, the everywhere wash, people. Full size at 250 mils, retailing at 14 pounds. What is it? An intimate wash or a hygiene wash. My gynecologist would absolutely murder me if I used anything of the sort anywhere within a mile of my uh privates and i don't mean soldiers by that <laughs> i mean i was told by my gynecologist and my mother's gynecologist who also used to be my grandmother's gynecologist that these are basically self-cleaning ovens and um, you well don't need a separate specific product yeah any gentle, you know, product will do. Dove, bathing bar or something. Basic glycerin-based or aloe vera-based soap. Gentle, that's fine. You don't need a separate specific product. That is one thing. The other thing, this is not in a beauty advent calendar, people. Not in a beauty advent calendar. You do not send private washes or intimate washes or hygiene washes. What next? Tampons? What next? menstrual cups bc birth control what are we going to get see next in advent calendars in beauty advent calendars that's what i'm asking i really think this doesn't belong in a beauty advent calendar moving on oh dear john frieda volume lift root booster 125 mils full size retailing at 7.99 is john frieda still around it, it was such a university i mean i used it at length when i was a student who couldn't afford much else so so far we have fake dan intimate wash uh sauron's teeth sorry scalp brush and john frieda moving on delilah a brand I like very much, and I wish we'd see more of this brand in Advent calendars and beauty boxes. Smooth Shadow Stick in Cinnamon Swirl. I mean, I could have done with a more exciting product, you know, maybe an eyeshadow cord or something instead of this. So this is full-sized, retailing at £23. Shadow Stick. Ah, I mean, I use Shadow Sticks for travelling, that's all. I would very much have preferred a palette. But yeah, I am not in charge of curating these things, am I? Neon Perfect Night Sleep One Week Candle is next. That is full sized at 185 grams and retails at 38 pounds. Next is from Hello Sunday, the one for your hands, SPF 30, hand cream, 30 mils, indeed full size, retailing at 10 quid. Ila Masca, a brand we should have seen more of in Look Fantastic, etc. Gel Sculpt Outline, that's actually a contour stick. We've seen this before in Look Fantastic. I've received this from Look Fantastic in the past. This is full size, retailing at £25. So the shade that you get is called Outline, people. Basically, it's, you know, you rub the stick here and then you spread it around, blend it around with your brush and there you have your contouring. It's handy, it's handy, but um, not if you are as greasy as I am and if you have pitted acne scars the way I do. On the whole, I prefer powdered products as a result. 
Next from Sculpted by Amy is the Beauty Base in Rose Gold. And that is 50 mils retaining at 23 pounds. From 111 Skin Odia, Cryo Sculpt Face Mask. People, single sheet mask is what you get. Full size is pack, pack of five. So five sheet masks. No, sorry, this is not full size. Next you have from Nailbury, the oxygenated nail lacquer in the shade Candy Floss. Rather, you know, no, not a color that I really like, Billy Pop. That is 15 mils, full size, retailing at £16.50. Next from Suku, pure colour blush, retailing at £36, full size. This is another brand that I'd like to see more of in Advent calendars. Ella Renjo Nourish and Glow Superfood Facial Oil is next. That is 15 mils, retailing at £46.71. Next you have an eyelash serum from UK Lash. That is only 3 mils, but retails at £38. Is there anybody else here who's bought eyelash serums? Use them maybe uh about for a week or so and then forgotten all about them and then a few weeks or months in you start using them diligently all over again and buy two or three more you know to use for three or four months and then seeing absolutely nothing by way of results and then cursed each time you ever saw the word eyelash serum after that i might drive you off lastly from imaline you have the eyeshadow cream that is 24 pounds Again, I would have preferred some kind of cord. So I am getting 19 to 20 full sizes if you count the hair products separately. The Researcher Brush Shampoo and the massager Brush. So I'm getting between 19 and 20 full size products. By no way means am I getting all the 27 that they claimed. So price breakdown. Only counting the full sizes here, people. When you do this, I want you to count only the full sizes that you will use. Three Namaskara 18, Curel Serum 25, Vive Lipstick 23, 66 quid. Medicaid Retinol 45, the shampoo and the brush, Sound Run Steel 24 and 950, 144 pounds 50. Falsies 19 and 19, that is 163, 69, almost the value, the, the cost of the advent calendar. The Luna Daily Intimate Hygiene Wash, people. £14, you get £177.69 and you are past the cost of the advent calendar. John Frieda, 7 99 Delilah, 23 Hello Sunday, 10 quid. Neon Candle, 38 you get £258.68. Ila Masca, 25 Sculpted by Amy, 23 £304.68. Nailberry, nail polish, 1650 LRNJ Facial Oil, 46 71 you get £367. Pounds 89 pence. UK Lash Serum 38 pounds and the Imoline is 24. You get to 429 pounds 89 pence. 19 and 99 is the cost of the Spectrum brush brushes and 36 pounds for the Suku blush. You get 485 88. So the value is that. The value is that. I'm happy about the Suku. I'm happy about the Medicaid. I'm happy about the lipstick. That said, I'm not happy about the fake tan. I'm not too happy about the falsies. I'm not happy about that intimate wash at all. Nor am I happy about the Pixie Glow Tonic, something we've seen. I mean, it's a good product, but you know, we've seen too many of those. So I am very mixed about this. There isn't any you know, touch such as, you know, powder puffs and eye mask. On the other hand, you do have Sauron's teeth on there. But I definitely like this more than Harvey Nichols. But I do, I think there are better calendars out there even this year. Even this year. I wouldn't pay this much for this because, you know, I'd rather buy the Vive lipstick, the Medicaid and the Suku and walk away. If you're really interested in these products, I mean, don't let me stop you. I don't want any hate for this, you know, giving you my opinion, my thoughts on this. I'm just trying to say, you know, a hygiene wash, fake tan and fake tan for the legs and uh, falsies are not my cup of tea, people. This isn't my cup of tea at all. I think this could have been much better. A, a, an eyeshadow quart would have, you know, uh, made it better, maybe including something else. A, a creamy lipstick, because the V lipstick is matte, so a creamy lipstick. That would have, you know, taken this advent counter to another level. Also, the Gatina could have been a cleanser or something instead of fake tan, yeah. There is no cleanser in here. I would have preferred seeing a nice face cleanser in here instead of fake tan and fake tan for the legs. So this isn't my cup of tea at all. I'm not happy with this one. I think there are better calendars out there this very year and I would be, I, I'd rather recommend those over this. This is a big letdown after last year's, which was actually quite good. That is what I told you in the beginning. You know, you begin well and then everybody's looking forward to seeing what you do the following year and then you deflate visibly. Ha, ha, ha.
But if this is, I mean, don't let me yuck your yum, people. If you like this, by all means, go ahead. Don't listen to me. So those are my thoughts on the latest in beauty advent, a stylist advent calendar for 2024. Uh, what do you think? Do you agree? Do you think that there are two or three or three or four good products in here, but, you know, some that aren't as good? And, uh, yeah, the hygiene wash and the other things, you know, the fake tan, completely bring it down. Or do you think it's all brilliant? Anyway, let me know in the comments below. Keep it pleasant, people. So that's all from me for today. Thank you for watching this video. Please do give me a thumbs up. Please do the subscribe button. Please do ring the notifications bell. And I'll speak to you soon.